Cutting Aldrick Roses was an easy decision for the Giants, especially compared to the decision that they're facing with cornerback DeAndre Baker. The 25-year-old Roses struggled last season. He would have been due $3.2 million this season. And after his hit and run accident in June that left him charged with three misdemeanors, he was facing a likely suspension from the start of the season. The Giants were not going to commit a roster spot and that kind of money to a player who just wouldn't have been there for them. So that made it an easy call. It's much more complicated with Baker, and not just because he's a first round pick whom the Giants think has a very big future as a key part of their defense. Baker is facing eight felony counts stemming from an armed robbery in Florida back in May, but he has professed his innocence and the Broward County prosecutors have not yet decided whether to proceed with the case. It kind of puts him in limbo and puts the Giants in a tough spot, which is why the most likely resolution is that the NFL will take the decision out of the Giants' hands and place Baker on the commissioner's exempt list. It's sort of a paid leave and gives everybody a chance to sort of take a breath until the prosecutors decide whether to proceed or the case is settled somehow, and then the Giants will have more information to make up their minds. So that is the likely scenario. Giants, of course, report on Tuesday morning for their COVID tests. Baker at the moment is in New York and expecting to be there, but it's a good bet that the NFL will tell him otherwise before he decides to actually show up.